What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. And uh, today I want to ask you guys a question. Who won E3? Now I do have a long 45 minute video that's probably broken up into a couple about who I think won. But there is a lot of a debate going on and it's honestly kind of a, a pointless debate because it doesn't really matter in the scheme of life. It's like saying who's better, Pepsi or Coke. It doesn't really matter. It all depends on what you like. But we do have some uh, some headhunters out there in the world of Facebook, Facebook data miners that actually found out and they went through the numbers, they crunched the numbers and they found out who they think won E3. And I'll drop a link in the description for you guys. Facebook data shows Sony dominated E3. We all know on some intuitive level that Sony won E3. They had an orchestra, they delivered an essentially perfect press conference, foregoing pats on the back and platform discussion for a lesser focus on games, delivering a tight, exciting, and immaculate show. That's what these events are, after all. A press release and some YouTube trailers could easily communicate all this information we need, but sometimes we like a show, and Sony delivered. But now we've got some numbers to back that up. Facebook worked with Pulsar to put together some activity data for video games mentioned from June 7th through the 14th, and it put Sony's dominance into stark relief. Here's an image for you guys to, to take a look at, so follow along with me. See that blue line? Goes right up. According to Facebook, Sony captured 30% of the total conversation during that time period. Video game chatter overall increased tenfold Saturday to Sunday, tripled on Monday, and peaked on Tuesday. The most talked about video games were Elder Scrolls Legends, God of War, and Titanfall 2, which is somewhat surprising. It's important to note, however, that while Sony clearly dominated the press conference, this data more reflects what was going on outside of the actual expo than what we saw on the show floor. E3 is a series of press conferences and an actual show after all. So while Sunday and Monday belonged to Sony, I saw a lot of excitement for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on the following days, adding up to some impressive victories for the Dark Horse Nintendo as well. Overall, it was a pretty exciting E3, even if we got pretty close to none of the hardware announcements I was hoping to see a few months back. We're heading into a solid holiday season in what looks like a very interesting 2017. The video game industry is shifting in some important ways and it's hard to know exactly what's going to happen. I'll tell you what's going to happen. We're going to have a ton of fun. Everybody, you, me, it doesn't matter what you're playing. If you're on your phone, you're going to have fun this year. There's a lot of things happening, man. But yeah, I mean, if you look at the numbers, if you look at this graph, if this is actually to be believed because it's Facebook, you know, they could just be, they could have an agenda. It looks like Sony just took off on the 13th and didn't come down. It looks like the Wii sales. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, E3 was exciting to me. Sony won. Uh, they had, the games were just exciting to me. It's not that I'm a Sony fanboy. Sony just makes games that I like more. I mean, that's just God's honest truth. You know, the stuff that they showed, I really, really liked. I enjoyed watching it. But Microsoft showed, I just, I'm not into Forza. I'm not really big into Gears of War. I'll play one, but it's to me, it's it would be like my fifth pick if it was a PlayStation game. It's not really that great to me. The stuff that they showed was okay. I, I, I mean, I really liked the pirate game, but the stuff that Sony showed, Resident Evil, come on, man, they showed Days Gone. They showed uh, the Hideo Kojima game. They showed all this stuff that just really excited me and I'm not surprised by this graph you guys let me know if you think Facebook is lying about this because I know MySpace might have a completely different graph be sure to give a thumbs up show support for the Beastly Gamer channel follow me on Facebook and Twitter and tell all your friends about me I'm the Beastly Gamer I'll see you guys next time